In this video regarding flow, we're going to go over how to add n records of a particular object and make the exact amount that is needed. So I'm going to show you the front side of how it works and then we'll dive into the back side on the flow. In the upper right hand corner, I have a Create Ingredients button and I've got my related ingredients to my recipe. And as an example for today, I've used lasagna. I'm going to click Create Ingredients and it asks how many ingredients do I want to create. So for this particular example, let's put in four and it could be any number. And then we click Next. Now I've got to enter in the name, so I'm going to throw in some ingredients to show you, but do not judge that I might not have the correct measurements for this. Uh, we do make a four cheese lasagna, so I'm going to add in different cheeses. Christy can spell. And I'm going to leave the type. So and then I'm going to add another. We'll just put four cups for each of these. And this is my fourth ingredient here. And again, that number at the beginning is where we put in the N number. And now, even though the button says enter another, this is the fourth one that I've entered. It now will create all of the ingredients that I wanted. So let's dive into the back side to look at this. We're doing a screen flow, and we've started with the recipe because in my particular org, that's a master detail to ingredients, ingredients being the child. And the initial screen just asks, how many do you want? And that way it has that N number. I was doing a decision note originally if it only wanted one versus more than one, only because that enter another doesn't really give the right words for the button. So, but obviously entering one is very easy. So if we go to the multiple it just has what you saw on the screen, which are the fields that are needed. And then what I do is I assign all of these variables entered into an individual record variable. And at the same time at the bottom, I add that individual, individual record variable to a collection so that I have that collection. I used to actually have this above the name because I hadn't put in the name to set that, so it was giving me the ID in the name. And when I had the collection with the record variable above the other one, it still wasn't giving me the name. So that one has to be at the bottom for it to work, for me at least. And what it does here is a decision node, the number in the collection variable, so it's saying, well, how many are in that collection variable now, has to be less than the number of ingredients entered on that first screen. So if there's one record in the collection, it'll go back and do another. And if there's up to, because we entered four, then it'll keep going. When it's four, then it stops and creates that collection by just creating a multiple set of those records. So however many you have, you can do it this way and loop through. Now obviously, you don't have to create the ingredients right away. You might have other things going on in your flow, but you needed to create X number of records. And then at some point you can create the records from the variable.